Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn how to create customers in Zoho Inventory. Customers are the clients who purchase goods or services that you offer. Here we have taken the US edition as an example. There are three ways in which you can create customers in Zoho Inventory. You can add your customers manually, or you can import them in bulk. And if you're using Zoho CRM, you can integrate it with Zoho Inventory and you can import the customers directly. First, let's see how to add a customer manually. Log into Zoho Inventory. Go to the Customers module on the left sidebar. Click the plus new button on the top right corner. Choose the customer type as business or individual. Enter the necessary details of your customer, such as their name, company name, customer's display name, email address, phone number, and website. In the other details section, choose whether your customer is taxable or exempted from tax. If your customer is taxable, choose their appropriate tax rate. Select your customer's currency. Now select the payment terms for your customers from the drop-down list. You can also mention their Facebook and Twitter profiles if you wish. In the address tab, you can enter the billing and shipping addresses of your customer. In this tab, you can add the contact persons if any. Zoho Inventory has a set of predefined fields. Suppose you collect additional information from your customers, you can add them as custom fields in Preferences and enter the details here. We'll see how to create custom fields later in the video. In the Reporting Tags tab, you can associate tags with your customers. Reporting tags help you group customers based on various categories. You can also filter your business reports based on their reporting tags. To create a reporting tag, go to the settings, reporting tags, and click the plus new button. In the remarks tab, you can add any remarks about the customer. This is for internal use. Click save. You have successfully created a customer in Zoho Inventory. Next, let's see how to import customers in bulk. Let's say you're migrating from another software and you have a list of customers in an XLS or CSV file. You can modify your file according to the format used in Zoho Inventory and import it. Click the hamburger icon and select Import Customers. You can refer to our sample file for the format of import. Click the Choose File button and select the file from your system. Now, if you've already created customer X, Y, and Z in Zoho Inventory, and your import file also has these customers, there'll be duplicates. You can choose whether to skip these or overwrite the existing records with the new ones. Click Next. In this step, you'll have to map the fields in your import file to the corresponding fields in Zoho Inventory. If you want to save these selections for future imports, then mark this box and click Next. If you click the preview, you can check for errors, if any, and then click Import. If you're using Zoho CRM, then you can integrate it with your Zoho Inventory organization and you can import the accounts and contacts in Zoho CRM as customers and their contact persons in Zoho Inventory. However, you can change the sync type according to your preference. We'll be covering the integration with Zoho CRM in detail in another video. However, we have added the link to the help document in the description below and you can refer that for more details on the same. All the customers that you create will be listed here. You can click them and see the overview. In the comments section, you can view the comments. Under the sales tab, you can see the transactions that you created for this customer. You can view the customer statement from the statements tab. If you wish to make any changes to this customer, you can click Edit and do so. You can also attach a file by clicking the attachment icon. 
You can click more for additional actions. You can also configure the preferences for the customer's module. Click the gear icon next to the add new button. If you want to allow duplicate display names for your customers, mark this box. If you wish to set a credit limit for your customers, you can mark the box Enable Credit Limit. Next, you can decide what action has to be taken when the credit limit is exceeded. You can either restrict creating or updating invoices, or you can set to show a warning. This is the format in which your customers' billing and shipping addresses will be displayed in the PDF. You can edit it according to your preferences. You can move the placeholders, remove or add a new one from the drop-down. This is where you can create the custom fields. The custom fields that you create here will appear in the customer's creation page. You can click plus new custom field to add additional fields to this module. Here, you can also create a custom button to perform certain actions based on your requirements. For example, you can sell your goods on credit to a few of your customers. At the end of every month, you wish to send an email with a due amount. In this case, you can create a custom button based on this criteria. Here, you will have to write a dilute script and the action will be executed based on this. Here you can create related list. Let's say you're using Zoho Inventory for managing your orders and you're also using Zoho Desk for your business. Now you can write a dilute script to fetch the happiness rating from Zoho Desk and show the data in a tabular form under each customer in Zoho Inventory. With this, we hope you've got a good understanding of how you can add customers in Zoho Inventory. If you have any queries, feel free to contact us at support at the rate zoho-inventory.com. You can also subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications about our upcoming videos.